What's up guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you're new here. So if you're new, please do my favor, hit the subscribe button. I noticed that a lot of the people that watch these videos are not subscribed. So please guys do me a favor, it'll help me out. Um, just hit that subscribe button, it's not, it doesn't cost you anything, so subscribe. <laughs> but anyways, uh, as you guys can see by the title, we are going to be installing a diffuser. This is going to be the PSM style diffuser. This has to be my favorite diffuser for the F80. Um, unfortunately, this does, it's brand new, but it does have some flaws and that's why I got it for a really good deal from somebody who didn't want to deal with it. They, they just wanted to um, get something else. So we have this here. Obviously, I'm the guy who tries to find deals whenever he can. <laughs> um, just like the exhaust, found that for a deal. Um, so I'm not gonna be doing a DIY this is just gonna be me kind of explaining to you guys what's wrong with the diffuser. The, what's, what's wrong with the diffuser. Um, I did go ahead and ceramic coat this thing uh, like two days ago. And um, it's good to go ahead and get it mounted. So the flaws that I can see and that were pointed out to me were right here, the tab that's in the back. Instead of being flat, it has a little flare going. So what happens is that whenever you lay it on against the car, this doesn't line up evenly with the body or the chassis of the car or wherever it's supposed to mount. Um, but I think there's a fix to that. So that's why I went ahead and decided to go with it. Um, plus for the price that I got it for, I really can't complain because these diffusers are a pretty penny. So Oh, this is one of my favorite parts of the diffuser, the parts that go on the side. As you guys saw, um, I had these, I had something similar on my F30. It's just, it wasn't as aggressive as these. So I'm excited to have everything put together. Um, no DIY, I'm not gonna show you guys the process. Obviously, once I get it mounted, um, I'll just kind of tell you guys how difficult it was to get it uh, put on. But um, I think this is really gonna change the rear end of the car and I'm excited. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and I get to work. I'm gonna break up this video into two different days because it is late right now And um, I will show you guys the end product uh, once it's finished So let me go ahead and I head downstairs and get started. So before I get started I just want to show you guys a good view of the whole diffuser a lot of this you might not be able to see too much once I get it on the car, but Look how good it looks super shiny and that's the part that goes over the exhaust, the sides. Oh yeah, so good. So much carbon. guys so an update um as you guys can see i got this piece mounted i have the bottom piece mounted which is the hardest part to be honest uh in order to get this piece mounted i had to take out the plastic pieces that way so i could put the nut from the inside and then tighten it up and then i had to mount everything up there um i don't think i recorded that but yeah it was a pain uh so right now it is sagging um that's because this is going to have to come off again. I didn't realize that this was going to have to come off. And um, in order to mount this to this, I have to drill into this diffuser, which I'm a little scared, but we should be okay. Um, but right now what I'm doing is, before I take this off, I'm actually going to prop this up, mark it, see where I have to drill the holes at. Um, and then drop it back down and put the bolt through the inside so I, the nut can be tied from the inside of the diffuser. Does that make sense? So drilling a hole eventually, stick the hole through there, put the nut from behind and then that way so this is exposed and obviously it'll still look clean but this is what's going to hold it up to the <coughs> to the uh, the car aside from the uh, plastic pieces. So aside from that that's going to be the hard part um, and then we'll just have to do the side so I'm gonna go ahead and keep working on this and then I'll fill you guys in once I'm done with it. 
All right, guys, so I drilled the holes. I ended up um, pushing this up and then just, I should have recorded, I should have been recording. And um, I ended up lining up the holes that were already on the uh, bottom part of the diffuser, uh, pushed it up and then just kind of started drilling into it that way. So I can kind of know once I put the bolts in that it'll, it's only gonna line up a certain way. So I think we should be good. Um, kind of went into the plastic here a little bit, but that's all right. But yeah. Uh, we're getting there. We're making progress and this should be ready to go in a little bit The side splitters are going to be the easiest part So just got to knock out the hard part out of the way and uh, finish it up here You guys this diffuser kicked my ass I gotta say that this thing was a pain to put on So you guys know that obviously the diffuser had some fitment issues but also, it was a pain because my tips are not removable, so they were in the way, and I was not able to get the bolts to go in from the in well from the in from the outside in to be able to put the nut behind it. Um, so I thought that I, w I would be able to drop it and then put it back in, right? But that wasn't the case because it wasn't dropping far enough because it was hitting the exhaust tips. So I had to take everything off again. Uh, put it together and then put it in as one piece um, Which was a little bit complicated um, at first obviously having two people would have made it a lot easier But it is on there. Everything is good to go Honestly, I, I love the way it looks right now even though the gray and the carbon fiber blend in together so much more like a subtle touch So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything out um, Lower the car and we're gonna see how it looks like also, you guys, I bought this thing off of uh, Amazon, this mechanic thing, and I'm glad because I was tossing and turning all over it on the ground. There was a little bit of fiberglass, and I'm good. I'm glad I, didn't, I don't have it on my clothes, as far as I know, but I did get a little bit itchy on my hands. This looks so good guys man so I'm gonna go ahead and just stop the video here I'm gonna pick it up first thing in the morning Oof. I don't know if you guys can see but this thing looks aggressive I don't, I don't think you guys can see at all would you look at that yeah, that looks so good play around with the settings here oh yeah perfect so obviously you guys know that I'm gonna go with the aggressive route one of the things that I hated most about the F30 was that there was no diffusers that were um, too aggressive um, it was just a regular M performance and I think there was a couple out there but I mean they wanted like after shipping and everything you were looking at paying about I don't know I think it was like 1500 or close to 2000 on a diffuser but um anyways I'm super happy with this diffuser. I think this is one of the best looking diffusers for this car, to be honest. Um, obviously, there's a couple other ones that I like, but this has always been my favorite one ever since I saw it uh, on the F80. So I'm glad that I was able to go with this. I was able to find this one. Um, like I said, it wasn't a perfect fit, but honestly, nobody's really gonna know if I, if I don't point out the imperfections. <laughs> um, just gotta clean the exhaust tips and we'll be good to go. Uh, and uh, maybe get a carbon fiber spoiler, I don't know. I do have a spoiler that I might end up putting on the car. Actually, let me go ahead and show you guys. All right guys, so I have this spoiler that came with a wide body kit that I actually ended up keeping. The guy who bought the wide body from me didn't want the spoiler. So I just kind of worked with him on the pricing and I ended up keeping it. I figured I was like, I knew I was gonna get an F80, so I was like, maybe I'll use it for my car or maybe, you know do a giveaway on it but this obviously would be have, have to get painted but here you guys can get a good view of the uh, spoiler it's very subtle and obviously with the carbon fiber it's pretty much almost the same shade as the mineral gray so either way whether i get carbon fiber or get this painted it'll still flow but let me know what you guys think should i get this spoiler painted or should i just run a uh, carbon fiber <laughs> my nose is running too yeah it is too cold to be doing some mechanic work right now um let me know what you guys think paint the spoiler 
or get a carbon fiber one. Here's a shot from the rear, like a lower angle, higher. Yeah guys, let me know what you guys think. Should I paint it or go with the carbon fiber one? Well, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.